Welcome back to my channel, Winter Motors. My name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And today we're back to getting up at stupid o'clock in the morning. I like, mean, I mean, I can even hear the 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 male chicken make sound. Oh, I'm fucking tired. Today we're gonna be leaving Croatia and head for Italy. We're first gonna hit up Venice and then we're heading up a little bit uh, more north in, uh, in Italy and be staying there for two days. So Venice two days, North Italy two days. Um, and I believe that actually we'll be staying in a tent for two days, so it will be interesting. After staying in luxurious uh, Airbnbs for, <laughs> for the travel all the way down here and for uh, five days here in, uh, in uh, Pula. Um, this apartment has served us great. Full kitchen and everything. It's like, it's like living here. Perfect. So there's only one thing to do today and that's to pack up the bike and hit the road heading for Italy. I think today we'll be riding around three something hours depending on what kind of road we take. Let's see. And we are now leaving Pula and we're heading for Venice. We are um, going to start by taking a little bit of uh, side roads, not going the highway. Uh, just a little bit of Croatia, just to get the feel again, because now I've been riding a little bit around here uh, without all the bags on. And, uh, and the, the bike feels completely different again. But of course, when we try to leave the city, we just get hit by a little bit of a traffic jam straight off the bat and uh, and we're already boiling away i asked myself should i start off in a vest or a jacket and i said nah that's no jacket and now i kind of regret it but uh, i think it's because we're coming out the roundabout and uh, croats really don't know how to reuse a roundabout correctly and then uh, a traffic jam occurs Okay, now that we're out of that baby traffic jam, now we're leaving Pula. Hopefully without another one in a few seconds, because I really need air. It's really warm. I must say I'm really excited to go to Italy, and especially to see Venice. Uh, on this trip, Italy is the only country that I haven't properly been to. Uh, yeah, of all the countries we've gone to so far. I drove through Italy once, half asleep and hungover, coming from uh, Slovenia. So I, I don't really count it because we were there for like 10 minutes driving through the border. I don't, I don't count that as uh, being in the country. So I'm excited to see it and uh, and especially Venice. Like I explained to, explained to Mara that I'm really interested in seeing Venice especially because it is a country or a country, a, a city that will not be there forever. It might be within our lifetime that uh, you can't visit Venice anymore. Uh, if you're not swimming so that's why it's really interesting to me to go there and, and see it before it disappears Tamara just explained because she's been reading a little bit up on Venice lately and also she has been there before she explained that obviously Venice is not like the rest of Italy and uh, and I'm aware of that we'll be heading to Venice now and uh, uh, Mara also explained that it's a total tourist tourist destination and I, I also know that but that doesn't change the fact that I really want to go there Mara explained that there is roughly around 80,000 80, tourists that go to Venice every day. I mean, now with the current situation, it might not be as many, but still a lot. And there is a roughly 60,000 people who live there uh, permanently. That's what she said and read up on. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct like exact numbers but I can double check that and put that in text if I'm wrong but it doesn't really matter because you get the point like I said with the current situation it might be different but that just makes it perfect for us because they just had a flooding problem in Venice and then obviously they, they're coming back from lockdown and as you all know well I, I'm assuming all you all know Italy was badly hit by uh, by the big sea and um, and yeah yeah, so, so a lot of tourists stay away from North Italy or Italy in general at the moment. So it's the perfect time for people like us who are tourists but don't like tourists to go and see a destination like Venice. 
I already saw some pictures of uh, of uh, uh, from a guy on a motorcycle touring page I'm on on Facebook, and uh, it looked completely empty, which is uh, which is very rare. And uh, his pictures were uploaded on Saturday, so and we're going now on a Monday. So I'm assuming that there's going to be even less now since it's a Monday than it would be on the weekend. But that's that's uh, that's just a that's just a plus in my eyes. It's just super cool because I really hate overcrowded places and especially when that overcrowd is just tourists I, that, that, I don't like that and uh, I was afraid of finding that in, in Venice but I think we're avoiding that just avoiding that After riding for a little while we stopped to have an espresso in a small village just to wake ourselves up a little bit and to search for the closest gas station. When we had filled gas, we decided to change our route to make up some time. And after I had found the correct directions, we set off onto the highway, direction Italy. Around 50 kilometers later, we hit a massive traffic jam that luckily we were able to pass. That's one of the major pluses of doing a road trip on a motorcycle. It took us around 20 minutes to pass this traffic jam that was basically at a standstill, and I could see the envy and hatred in the car driver's eyes stuck inside their personal hotboxes as we cruised by down the hill and back into Slovenia. When we were in Slovenia again, we knew it wouldn't be long till we were at the border to Italy. So we hammered through without stopping, and sure enough, there it was. Our next country, Italy. So we stopped at the gas station here, a little less so, and I uh, hoped we could get ice cream but of course not they don't have it here for some weird reason so i'm guessing guessing the next cold thing we're gonna be drinking is beer in venice Mara? Yeah. too bad and we made it to country number uh country number five does that make sense yeah i don't know i think country number five i believe i'm getting a little bit out of count we've traveled a lot lately but this country is Italy, we're finally here. I can smell all the pizza that is waiting for me here in Italy. It'll be awesome. We're about one and a half hours away from uh, Venice right now, which is our final destination for this part of our Italy trip. I mean, we're, we're going up north again uh, in Italy, staying there for another two days, but for this time, Venice is our final destination. Like, I mean, today, it's our final destination. So, um, yeah, it's uh, just one and a half hours keeping on trucking and we'll be there, ready to chill, drink beer and uh, search for pizza or pasta or something, whatever, something Italian, but m most importantly, beer.
What you doing? It's fresh air. I don't want to smell all the cow poop anymore when we drive through fields. Problem solved. Fruit <laughs> cocktail all the way. It's under. <laughs> Seriously, it's fruit cocktail. Fruit cocktail. <laughs> We're bartenders. I mean, come on. This is so stupid. <laughs> no, everybody. When we turn up everywhere, they'll be like, ooh, what's that fruity smell? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful mixture of sweat and fruit and gasoline. It was time for the last leg of today's journey, so we set course for Venice. We rode hard and we rode fast, because that is the only way to drive in Italy. So we made it to Venice. Uh, we drove around four hours from where we were up to Venice here and we're here now and this place already blows my mind and we've been here where you can see the water for less than five minutes. But we need to go find some beer and then I'll check back in with you. We just went to a lovely restaurant down by the river or whatever it's called um, off the main street which was absolutely lovely we had some wine and some local spritzers and I don't know I don't know about you but I am a little bit drunk right now for sure little tipsy little tipsy so as I walk down this tight little alleyway I'm just here to say that I'm a little drunk now, so it's the perfect time to sign out because today we're not going to be exploring Venice, seeing all the sights, doing all the things. We're saving that for tomorrow, but for you, that will be next time. So thanks for watching another video here at Winter Motors. My name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And until next time here in Venice, bye bye.